Marie Valérie of Austria was born on April 22, 1886, in Buda. She was the youngest daughter of Franz Josef I, Emperor of Austria and King of Hungary, and his wife Elisabeth in Bavaria, the famous Sisi. Marie Valérie was the only one of Sisi's four children that the Empress raised herself. Although Franz Josef longed for another son, who would become the king for Hungary, Marie Valérie was to be a daughter. In defiance of imperial tradition, the Empress and Queen gave the child a name that was unusual among royal families, Marie Valérie. Valeria is the name of the region around Budapest, and thus the name was a tribute to Hungary. Marie Valérie was her mother's favorite child, and upon her birth, rumors arose that Marie Valérie was not the daughter of Franz Josef, but of Count Giulia Andraschi, with whom Sissi was on familiar terms. The rumor faded with time, however, as the physical resemblance between Marie Valérie and Franz Josef grew stronger over the years. Marie Valérie was four years old when her grandmother, the Archduchess Sophie, died, and when her 16-year-old sister Giselle became engaged to Leopold of Bavaria. As an adolescent, Marie Valérie's time at court was made difficult by her brother Rudolf, who resented her because of the preference Sissi gave to her youngest child. The court also mocked the Empress's extravagant display of love for her daughter. It had been hoped that Marie Valérie would marry a member of a European ruling family, and the expectations pointed in particular to the Prince Miguel of Braganza, who was the Miguelist claimant to the throne of Portugal from 1866 until 1920. But Marie Valérie categorically refused to do so, and was supported in her decision by her mother. Another suitor was Prince Alphonse of Bavaria, who was a member of the Bavarian royal house of Wittelsbach, but this time the Empress opposed the candidate. Alphonse went on to marry Louise of Orléans. The Empress refused her daughter to become another pawn on the political and royal matrimonial chessboard, which was quite unusual for the time and the social environment they found themselves in. So unlike Sissi's eldest daughter, Giselle, who had been married off by the Empress at the age of 16 to allow Sissi's brother to marry the woman of his choice, the Empress advised Marie Valérie not to marry too young and to choose her husband wisely. In 1886, Marie Valérie fell in love with Archduke Franz Salvatore of Austria. The Archduke, who was a member of the Imperial family, was a worthy but uninteresting match, but Marie Valérie's mind was made up. However, Family tragedies postponed the wedding between Marie Valérie and Franz Salvator to take place for quite a long time. The deaths of Ludwig II of Bavaria, Marie Valérie's aunt the Duchess Mathilde Ludovica in Bavaria, her grandfather Maximilian in Bavaria, and finally, and most tragic of all, the death of her brother Rudolf, who was found dead next to his mistress Marie Vetsera, a young underage girl of 17, on January 30, 1889 in the Meierling Hunting Lodge, prevented the young lovers from getting married. Finally, on July 31, 1890, the then 22-year-old Marie Valérie finally married the 24-year-old Archduke Franz Salvatore of Austria in Bad Ischl. The couple got off to a happy start, but as time went by, Franz Salvatore increasingly sought the company of other women. In particular, he had a son from an affair with a Vienna opera dancer named Stephanie Richter. Despite Franz Salvatore's infidelity, Marie Valérie and Franz Salvatore had quite an extended family. Ten children were born from their union. Those ten are Elisabeth Françoise, François Charles Salvatore, Herbert Salvator, Hedwige, Theodor Salvator, Gertrude, Clément Salvator, Marie, Mathilde, and Agnes, who sadly died in infancy. Upon the death of her mother in 1898, Marie Valérie grew increasingly close to her father, although she admitted that her relationship with him remained complicated. In 1916, Emperor Franz Josef I died. Marie Valérie was at his side and closed her father's eyes. Franz Josef left the throne to the 28-year-old Charles I of Austria. But the Austro-Hungarian monarchy would not survive the First World War. 
and the young emperor abdicated on November 12, 1918, after which he had to go into exile in Switzerland. Austria-Hungary was wiped off the map and was succeeded by independent republics who were united by a common feeling of Habsburgophobia. Marie Valérie, who was very German-minded, remained in Austria after the 1918 revolution. She died of lymphoma in 1924, aged just 56. She is buried in the cemetery at Sindelburg, near Walsee. Her husband was buried alongside Marie Valérie in 1939. Thank you for watching.